As to the origins of the welfare state, they go a long way back. There was a book which was published quite a long time ago by a man by the name of Cecil Driver called Tory Radicals. And it referred to a group of people in Great Britain in the early part of the 19th century, 150 and more years ago. William Osler, Lord Shaftesbury. These were a group of people from the upper classes of the British aristocracy who were very much concerned about the welfare of the ordinary people of the lower classes and who were the, became the driving force behind a whole series of legislation, the so-called Factory Act, the first 12-hour day and then 10-hour day act and so on, which they promoted from a point of view of noblesse oblige. Their whole attitude was, after all, some people know better than other people what's good for people. We are among the elite. We know what's good for the ordinary man. We don't want to force it down his throat. But we believe that in a properly structured society, he would recognize that we do know better and would assign to us the task of structuring things for his benefit. That was a notion which the Tory radicals had at that time. And it is in many ways the basic motivating force on a moral and ethical level behind the movement for the welfare state. The closest modern descendant of that movement is John Kenneth Galbraith, who is also a Tory radical today. He and those who share his views, again, believe themselves to be an elite who know what is good for the ordinary man, who again do not wish to impose their views on the ordinary man, but who believe that the ordinary men too ought to recognize the superiority of the elite and assign to them the task of choosing what goods they consume, what products are available, and so on. The fundamental driving force is paternalism. It's an attempt to do good for other people. Now, interestingly enough, the other source of the modern welfare state comes from a very different, different yet not wholly unrelated tradition. It comes from Bismarck's Germany. Bismarck's Germany, as it was established in, in the late 19th century, was a centralized bureaucratic state, and it was the first modern state which introduced on a fairly large scale the kind of welfare measures that have become common in most societies in the modern day.